Hey guys, it's Panya here. Um, I've had a few requests of people asking me how I create my beats and whatnot, so I thought I'd give a just a rough draft and the meat and potatoes of actually how I do it. Um, it's not going to be the whole beat. It's just going to be basically the uh, meat and potatoes, just just the, the bar, the simple eight bars uh, of just how I play my melodies at the drums and uh, whatnot. So, yeah, that's, that's basically what it is. I'm going to be using Zen Beats. Uh, that is my door of choice. My, uh, you know, I've been with them for about four years now when they were still uh, stage light. They're pretty good. Um, I recommend them. So go check them out. And yeah, let's get to it. So once you get into Zen Beats, this is what it looks like, the timeline, uh, once you pass the drum rolls and, and whatnot. And it is highly recommended if you are a new uh, person to producing or if, you know, you're, you know, if you're going to start out to start with the drums however i like to start with uh the melodies and and the sound so i know what i'm working with and then just build the drums around it uh also it's recommended if you are just starting to to do something at a slower bpm however we're going to do it my way as i explained before so we're going to do it at 150 to to add the tension the, that real black rusher sound so and we're going to do it in the key of A minor, just to also keep it very simple. So without further ado, let's uh, get it going. Okay, so as you can see, I like to start off with the piano. Uh, so then that way I can hear the sounds properly. And then as you can see down here is a, a VST that I have been using a lot lately that has a lot of dope sounds in it. And uh, once we fix up the piano roll, what we're going to do is pop it into that VST and we'll pretty much have a sound that we can build on from there. So let's do that. So obviously you want to make it all fit and my piano is never really all that in time which i think a lot of producers can relate to uh, so as you can see with the lines that are in here are the grid are called the grid and what you do then is you snap it to the grid so it plays in time with your bpm uh, that's why they recommend you to play with the drums first so you can actually hear and then play along with the drums however um as I said, I like to start off the melodies first, so yeah, uh, once it's all fixed up, uh, so everything is in line, when that wants to move, so with that one, yeah, then that way the sound, everything snaps to, to when, the, when the drums come through, so as you can see. And then you just set, snap it like that into a loop, and this is what you'll hear. Fix up the velocity on that one. Okay, so that to me sounds pretty dope, and pretty dope for a mid-range sound. So, uh, instead of just having a boring old piano, what I like to do now is use a lot of atmospheric type... Uh, warpy sounds so once I pop it into the VST below this is how it will sound it's just a bit louder I'll turn it down so as, as you can hear that is absolutely dope I love it um, and you know that that's just classic classic black Russia sound uh, so then the next one is what I like to do is to really get the atmosphere going is then add the bass uh, and lower end sort of like sounds. So that could be a pad or it could be bass. So to start it off with, let's open up Nexus again. So 
So once it's open, then, uh, then yeah, you either go to the bass or the pad sounds. However, today I'm feeling a bit of a bass sound, so let's look for one. All right. That's pretty, pretty dope. So we'll record it along with that. And this is how it will sound. Yeah. And play it one more time. So this is how it will sound uh, once it actually decides to to snap sometimes you you will get it like when when you do record and you'll get a lot better uh, especially because it's it's not as quick as the other sounds so and as you can hear that that's already adding a lot of atmosphere it's very dope um, and then with the last sound on the high end I'm just gonna make it that traditional 2018 throwback Panya sound on top of this so we're just gonna keep it to a piano melody and if you've been following me for a while you'll this will sound very generic, ge generically punya, sorry. So that's me just freestyling over it, and it already sounds quite dope, so yeah, let's, re let's record something on the fly, just on the high end. basically once you have those three sounds uh they pretty much cover your mid high and low sounds that you n not really required but that you would possibly want uh in your in your sound in your beats so then you've got every angle covered and once again you just go back and fix it so everything sounds nice and in time and keeping the kicks out but for the sake of this video just to show you uh what a, what the entire beat can sound like is i'll just add the the kicks as well uh so let's let's keep going okay so 
so. basically how you do, do it and just to add in a little something else uh, I will now chuck in once again Nexus and we'll play with one of my favorite sounds of basically all time is Gaia or Gia I don't know which which one it is um, so whichever one it is just let me know in the comments below because I would love to know the actual pronunciation of the sound I've been using forever Thanks, Nexus. So this is basically the sound. I absolutely love it. And so we're just gonna add that to gloss it over the top and also give it that final bit of atmosphere. And then, yeah, you pretty much have, have the beat done. So let's get to it. That added a lot more uh, of, of a traditional Black Russia sound, atmosphere, you name it. I absolutely love that choir sound. Um, yeah, I still don't know if it's Gaia Gia as before, but hey, here we go. So this is how the whole beat sounds uh, once, it's, once it's all there. So let's, let's have a listen to it. there you pretty much have it um i will probably be doing further videos uh in in the future of how to uh how i mix my beats how i sequence them and so on and so forth so if you want want any other tutorials uh, especially on zen beats because i do i'm very uh knowledge driven with with this program so uh yeah just let me know and yeah, if you if you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Yeah, and just leave a comment and let me know if if I could even improve on something. So, yeah, thanks and uh, see you guys. See you guys in the next one. <laughs>